What's up everybody and welcome back to the Idiot's Road to Go episode number 6 where we're going to jump straight in with a comment of the day which is could you please do the videos live and not just record it and talk over it? It is a lot better now. I do kind of agree with you mate, I'm not going to lie, but when we're doing a Road to Glory of this calibre and grinding so much FIFA, it's not possible for me to record every single thing live. Like you guys, at this point we're just doing like little bits and bobs of checking the prices of marquee matchups and seeing that it hasn't actually massively inflated the players and some of the crazy league ones you don't even need players from the actual team so the bronzes don't get price fixed and stuff so fair play to EA for that that is absolutely sick like I don't need to do this stuff live sitting and playing every single games of division rivals and foot champs actually on camera and commentating to you guys all the time it's kind of not physically possible because I'd get absolutely knackered and I haven't got enough camera batteries and stuff like that like this recording is about four hours worth of stuff if I was to sit there recording talking to the camera for four hours I would die a lot of it was to do with this, which is not the best of deal. I got it for 1,200 coins and I sold it for 1,600, but it does lead itself onto an absolutely mental sniping filter that I discovered. I actually, one of my mates sent me it, like text me it, that it, because it was so good, I had literally been on it myself 15 minutes before and it's mental. So I'm keeping that hidden from you guys for now because I don't want to like reveal it to the masses, but maybe we'll have a video on the top secret sniping filter soon. But as you can just see, I put a 99 contract obviously, on Diego Costa because we absolutely love him. And we jumped into some Division Rivals gameplay. This was recorded, to me, maybe last night, to you guys watching this, maybe two nights ago. I'm not really sure, but in this episode, we're going to be making a huge signing because I started to make some coins, quite a little bit of coins, with that filter. And I then improved upon it and made an absolute fortune. So I'll give you guys a bit of a spoiler. As we've scored an absolute banger with a perfectly timed finish, I would have never been so proud of myself scoring that goal in the 60th minute. It was such like a close sort of dead game when no one was getting chances, and I finally got one with Alex Texera. Perfect time finish and rocketed into the back of the net. It was very, very nice. And then we had thrown goal with Vieira, and I was like, oh my god, I'm so good at this game. Watch this time. And I got it yellow when we didn't score. I thought I was going to do another sick time finish, but it, it's, it's all good. We're learning the game and we're just enjoying practicing and getting better. But like I said, the reason I distorted that card's color and made it all blue and all blurry and everything so you guys didn't have a clue what it was is because I've gone from like 20k, 16k or something like that after signing this big player that we're going to buy in this episode for the team back all the way up as this guy scores a nice little scream himself to be fair that was probably a time finish remember though that was actually pretty decent by his balotti we've got over a hundred thousand coins now which is mental so that'll be another video in itself but that's a little bit of a t i'll probably be to tomorrow's video actually i'll reveal how many coins we've actually got maybe decide what we're going to do with them give you guys some sniping filters that i've been using but not that top secret one that i just used then but we'll go over that in another video, maybe a little few days down the line. Also, how on earth have we not just won this game in the 93rd minute? That is ridiculous that we didn't get the ball into the back of the net there. We drew one all in Div Rivals. But yeah, apologies for that, but I don't want to reveal it to like 50,000 people and then get you guys tell two people and then the whole bloody world knows it. So we've kept that a little bit hidden for now and we're going to improve our team a bit and you guys will see the gloriousness of all the stuff that we're going to do with them coins in the coming videos. So it'll benefit you guys anyway. But for now, we're just playing some Div Rivals game. We drew one all in that game. A little bit annoyed that we didn't win at the end, but to be honest, if you, like I said, it's quite a stale game. I could have finished that other chance if I'd have got it perfectly timed, which is... I, I kind of like that about FIFA, to be honest. If you're like, if I had a perfectly timed that shot with Vieira, it probably would have gone in, and I would have deserved to win because I timed that shot with Vieira. But I didn't, so it was a draw. Fair enough. I think that's pretty cool. Next up, we're coming against the Moss crew, who should be called the bloody Lone crew. Lone Werner, Lone... Muller, loan Kimmich, loan Thiago, loan Naldo. He has got blue top rack, which I was pretty jealous about. He's got, it's that Foreman in goal, I think it is. He's very, very annoying on this game. We started it off. Do we start off this goal, this game with a nice little goal? I'm pretty sure we do. That's a nice little Megs through ball by Hulk. Yes, indeed we do. Alex Texera. Oh no, we don't. I remember it in this footage. Oh no. We could have done it if we just squared it. And then we get absolutely smashed on the counter-attack. This is the guy that's absolutely sick at FIFA. So I chopped this footage up a little bit, like a few hours ago this morning. And now we're commentating over the top of it. And he scored the tramp goal. And there we go. I'm enjoying this footage for the first, basically for the first time with you guys. I'm making so many of these videos, recording so much FIFA for both channels. As we miss an absolute sitter with Alex Texera. And again, how the hell did that not go in? I'm recording so many of these and we're getting so many days in advance and I've got so many of them planned that they're all just blaring into one. So you'll have to bear with me with the commentary. As words can't even fathom how I've missed that chance. I don't know why I didn't take a first touch, to be honest with you. I think, again, I was going for a time finish. 
I'm just, I'm just better at setting him up for goals. Look at that. That was a lovely little assist by Gabriel Paulista for Thomas Muller to just tap into the back of the net and make it 2-0. <laughs> yeah, apologies for that. You guys will have to bear with me with me trying to remember which game out of the many and which bit of trading we're doing and all stuff like that. I'm going to enjoy these games together. Luckily for me, though, I've actually got quite good at scoring kickoff goals, which is a little bit worrying, but I've, I haven't conceded any myself, so I think it does kind of take some nice football and actually a bit of skill this year to score a kickoff goal. You can't just run through the defence and there's nothing you can do. I did go to Davon and I thought the best skip it. That's a little bit, a little bit too far after scoring a kickoff goal against them. But as you can see, pretty close game, 60% possession to me. All my chances are in the box, only two of his, but it was the two that went in, so got to take your chances, haven't you? Got to be clinical. We missed two absolute sitters, and it's 100% my own fault. And here again, just a little bit lacking that skill or that little bit of quality in my own play where I was trying to make a bit of space to get a finesse shot off with Diego Costa and ended up running the ball too far, using the right stick, flicking it too far, and we got smashed on the counter, and that was actually a really good finish by his vein. Like, if I was doing that with my Texera and my... I can't remember who the other one was. We've had a couple of chances, haven't we, to be honest with you? I've missed all of them. So if I was doing that, we'd be winning this game. But unfortunately, we aren't. And this guy was very, very good at getting down the line and cutting the ball back. And this is something maybe I need to adapt into my own play. And he was also really annoying. He kept doing... Whenever he scored, he kept, like, doing as long a celebration as he possibly could. And he paused the game as if he'd just sit there and let it run for 30 seconds. Not make any subs or anything. I actually used this opportunity, I think, to make some subs. It was as if he wanted me to rage quit, as if he's like pausing the game, being like, come on fella, it's 4-1, off you go, I've got other people to beat. I was just like, hell, I'm not rage quit, are you mental? You get points in this game based on how many goals you score when you are playing Div Rivals, basically. So you get 150 points for a loss, you get 300 points for a draw, and you get 500 points for a win, and you get 90 points per goal that you score, up to a maximum of five goals. So even if I'm losing 4-1, even if this guy scores another three goals and makes it 7-1. If I can score three myself, that's an extra 270 points or something like that. So there's absolutely no way that I was rage quitting after playing this game. Costing myself contracts and stuff like that. And we just kept at it and we kept trying to score. And at this point, I wasn't particularly bothered. We basically lost the game. I was just going to try out some new stuff, get used to my players. And like I said, practice on FIFA. And most of the times that I've lost this game so far, there's been like, I think there was one, one game last episode where we conceded a really annoying rebound goal or something like that. And a couple of these, this guy's goals have been a little bit jammy. Here I tackle him and it comes back to him and he smashes in the back of the net with Thiago. But I wasn't that bothered. It's, it's a weird one. I've never played the FIFA where I haven't really been that bothered about losing. Like it's been frustrating that I'm bad at the game or not amazing at the game, but I, I haven't been annoyed at anything other than my own inability to play it, if that makes sense. It's really, really weird. And I do remember when I'm editing this footage, we do, I think it might actually be in this game, you score a really nice goal when I'm practicing the first touch. Yeah, it's here, look at this touch from Diego Costa. Did the sky's first touch make the space, play in behind, and then a nice finish from Texera. And I was like, do you know what? That was actually pretty good. We'll lose 5-2, but we're working on stuff. We're practicing stuff. We're getting better. And I was like, okay, this is pretty good, this is decent, we got ourselves a few more points, and then like I said, that guy paused the game again, as you can see, as if to try and get me to rage quit off scoring my own goal, and then he was just messing about, and in the 92nd minute, he let me score a stupid chip shot, and I was like, thanks mate, I'll have an extra 90 skill points to go towards my weekly rewards, thank you very much, I'm going to run over to the camera and dab. Yeah, I did it, I dabbed with Hulk, after scoring a chip shot there, he let me score. But I didn't care because every time a goal went in after 4-1, he made me sit there for 30 seconds and just look at the screen. So, he deserved it. And he was a Liverpool fan, so there we go. 5-3, thanks for the extra thousand coins from my bonus. Thank you for the 11 foot champs tokens as we cross the 50 threshold. So we're like a 40th of the way there. We lost some skill rating, unfortunately. We're down to almost 1,400. But we gained quite a few weekly token points and we're almost into rank three, which isn't too bad. But at this point, I have done some more trading. You can see I'm up to 36,000 coins, which is pretty good. I opened this silver reward pack. It kept giving me rewards from weekly challenges that I complete. It'd be like, you've completed the challenge, you forgot to do it. And then it'd just give me the stuff, which whatever, fair enough, I suppose, because I never actually remember to go and click on them and actually take the stuff. So we've got this guy. He is a Brazilian dude in the Russian league, I think that is, which means he's worth a couple of hundred coins. We managed to sell him for 500 coins. It's 500 free coins. I can't really complain too much. And I think at this point, we decided to then go and actually buy ourselves a player. And the big signing in this episode is going to be none other than the heavily commented Saul. I was playing these games and I was feeling, especially in that game, a little bit exposed in midfield. We're using our blue Champions League, Marcos Lorente. 
and he's just not very good, to be perfectly honest with you guys. Il Aramendi is decent and he gets the job done, but I would like to get like Saul and Bass or something like that next to each other. We might have to switch our team around. Drop out Jonathan Vieira as much as I love him and maybe make maybe even make a couple of teams because we're going to be playing a lot of FIFA this year, especially as I get into the swing of making the Road to Glories and we get into like a pattern of doing different stuff and we know we've got rewards on this day and we've got marquee matchups to do and SPCs on this day and then we just need to fill in the gaps of other days and grind and then different stuff and a couple of games a week, a couple of days of weekend league games and all that sort of stuff. It'll settle into a nice little pattern of stuff to do and it's going to give me a lot more time to actually play games in the week and as you can see i was trying to snipe a saul snipe is definitely not the word i accidentally added him to my transfer watch list and then i accidentally bid on him and then i still managed to get him for two and a half thousand coins cheaper than what he was actually worth <laughs> there was literally no one else looking for a saul and i got very jammy i got him for 22k instead of i think it was 25 750 we jacked his price and popped them straight into my team for an absolute bargain. God knows, usually when I'm trying to snipe, there's 4,000 people also trying to buy the stuff and I miss everything. But, like I said, that has changed. We have actually moved on to making a lot of coins. We've got massive amounts of coins in the bank and there's potentially more upgrades to come to this team. But for now, that is the biggest one we've made. Diego Costa and Hulk are our two biggest players. Costa's, I think, worth a little bit more, but we actually paid more for Hulk. But now we've got a 22 or 25,000 coin beast in the midfield in Saul. As we come up against FC Stroopwafels, who, side note, I absolutely love Stroopwafels. When I went to Amsterdam, I tried them for the first time. They were so good. We bought a massive box of them back with us. But anyway, that aside, his team was pretty nice. And he had that Mariano guy, who I also really like the look of. And I'm thinking about potentially, because, I'm a ma because of the player month, Lucas, and because of my massive... Everton fan and I really love Richarlison at the moment. Also, how ridiculous is this goal? Texera still got the ball somehow. Diego Costa is the one. Oh no, it was Lamar. Okay, this is, I'm thinking of a different goal. Diego Costa is the one that scored it. That was a nice little header from him. Very, very jammy that I managed to fold off the ball. But like I was saying, because I'm a massive Everton fan, I really want one to watch Richarlison. Both because I think he's going to actually get some informs for us this season and he'll be a decent little investment. I also really like Richarlison on FIFA. I also really like Richarlison. I also really like the one to watch card design. And I've also this year decided that, as again, I show you guys, it's a pretty stale slow game and as we're both learning how to attack and as AI defending is doing a lot of the work but not really for me because I'm pretty bad at it and I need to practice it but yeah I can't want a Brazilian team is what I'm getting at because of Richarlison and because that play of the month Lucas is this guy scores a really really nice goal I think this guy was actually really good at FIFA and deserved to be absolutely battering me in the second half but I could just be totally making them up look at this guy he pops up big I've got absolutely he's called Stroopwafel because he's Dutch I assume which is why he's got him but I've got no idea who on earth that guy is. As in, look at it, 90 seconds minute, storming through on goal with Diego Costa, and that touch kills me. I should have scored. It's, again, 100% my own fault that I'm not scoring that goal. Diego Costa would finish that off every single time for me, and just to rub salt in the wound even more. This guy runs down the other end of the pitch, I tackle him, and he scores in the 94th minute. Triggered was not the word, but... As you guys saw, my first goal was pretty jammy as well. So there we go. We took the 2-1-L. And it was probably deserved for that guy. He was actually really good at FIFA. So I'm not going to complain once again too much. We should have won the game. And I remember at the time thinking it was horrifically undeserved that I was running for own goal and about to score. And then I didn't score. And again, this guy's got Mariano once again. And I kind of want to put him in my team for the La Liga team. Because the, the people that I've played against with him, he's actually been really good. And again, he's got a one to watch, which I quite like to pick up. Because the card design looks sick. But I put out on Twitter whether he actually plays... And people were saying that he doesn't actually play and there's not really any point getting no one to watch. He probably won't get an info, which is kind of sad. This is the way a goal. Diego Costa crossing in for little Jonathan Vieira to score a header. What a backwards reality we live in with that goal just there. But I'll take it. 13th minute, nicely worked little goal. Yeah, I don't know. I figured a bit build my Brazilian team. Maybe we'll throw Alex Texera across to the Brazilian one in the middle of Richarlison and Lucas. Let me know what you think of that. And then we'll pick up Mariano. Probably just the normal one to go next to Diego Costa. Maybe we could go for an Arky Williams or something like that. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section as we start to make some peas with our top secret trade method. This was a, again, this guy was pretty good at FIFA and it was a pretty good game. We conceded another stupid goal of attack on people, but not properly. And there you go, there is Mariano finishing off and dabbing on us in the 15th minute. That was a kickoff goal as well, actually, wasn't it? Which is rather frustrating, especially as he then goes and dabs on me. Not cool, bro. I know we dabbed on someone in the last game, but he kind of deserved it. Anyway, this guy's defender was really weird. He was the most 
inactive defender I've ever played against. He was actively changing away. Like, he had auto switching on, and every time I, ch I made the pass, it switched to the player closest. First of all, pause, watch. Just sit back and watch. Mental. What a goal. That is the best goal that I've scored on FIFA 19 so far this year. Yeah, this guy. The way he defended was so weird and it was so annoying to play against, but it, it, was, it was annoyingly effective up to a point in the first half until I started to sort of suss it out and just sort of, as you've seen with Jonathan Vieira, I was just wandering around with the ball and he doesn't really try to tackle you. Like, as I was passing the ball, I could see his auto switching, changing the play that he was controlling. But most of the time, as Jonathan Vieira scores his second header of the game, very backwards reality, most of the time he would then actively change his player away from the one that he was the one that was closest to the ball. It changed him to the close one, and then he changed it to someone else. It was so so bizarre, and such a weird way to. But it's not a weird day to play. It's the AI hey, believe the defending isn't it being super OP, and this guy was just trying to abuse it, but wasn't particularly good today. But we went four one up in the 69th minute, and he actually did rage quit. Unlike us, where the other guy was trying to get us to rage quit, this guy just went and did it himself. But yeah, AI defending, I think, needs a little bit of tweaking in this game, because this guy wasn't particularly good at it, and I'm not particularly good at it, but people who are are so, so, so frustrating to play against. Like, it took us a corner and a couple of crosses to Jonathan Vieira, which wouldn't usually happen to break that guy down. And there's some players, we've got 65 tokens this time, actually, so we're up to 100, so we're at 20th of the way there, like probably an 18th or something like that, because we've got 135 of them. And we got 29 skill ratings to take us back over 1400, which was very, very nice. That was our first win, actually, I think, in Div Rivals <laughs> since actually getting placed, which is pretty tragic. But Saul bringing home the bacon and showing up our midfield and made sure we only conceded the one goal and managed to squeeze in for ourselves, which was pretty decent. But yeah, AI defending's a little bit annoying. That's my main gripe with the gameplay in this game so far. I know there's a couple of bugs with, like, the side foot finesse shooting when you just press B, but that's a bug that they're looking into and they're just gonna fix. Whether they actually adapt the AI Defender, I'm not so sure, but it does kind of annoy me a little bit. I just need to practice it myself as well, I suppose. So I can always score one or two goals past people, but when they're putting a couple past me as well, when you're trying to break down the AI, it gets super frustrating. Whereas if I could improve my own defending by using the AI a little bit more and only conceding zero or one, then maybe we'd actually be all right. But we're going to end this episode off with our big sign. And he's only 20k, but he's the biggest one we bought so far. At this point, like once I bought him, I did only have like 8k coins left or something like that, I think, didn't I? Or like 18k coins left. So it was a pretty big sign for me at the time, but we have now gone and made absolute bank and we can do some pretty good stuff with our squad. But he looks really good. Like with that chem style that he came on, it's passing and his physical are pretty decent, so he's got good strength and aggression for getting about in the midfield. Decent interceptions and stuff like that anyway. Good stamina, high defensive work rate, good at dribbling, insane at passing with depth chemistry style on him. Cannot complain at all, he's a very, very good little player. Christ knows why that person converted him to a camp, but that's probably why they sold him. And that's probably why they listed him for a few thousand coins cheaper than he's actually worth, because they haven't got a bloody clue what they are doing. But anyway... I feel like I've been talking really, really fast because there's so much information to cram into this episode. So I hope, so hopefully, I haven't just rammed too much stuff down your guys' ears and you've absolutely lost the plot and got no idea what I'm getting on at. Basically, what I'm saying is, we did some sniping, we got ourselves some coins, I'm not quite going to show you what we were doing. However, I've got loads of other sniping methods that I can show you guys in the next video that I've been interspersing with my top secret ones. So I'll show you guys that and how to make some coins. We did that. We lost some games in the midst of doing that like when i was getting market banned i'd go and play a game and then come back and be on market band and do some more sniping we were losing so we made the big signing got saul and actually won a game pretty good we're getting there we're learning and we're enjoying playing fifa which is the most important part and i would recommend you guys picking up saul actually 20k for an eight i'm sure his prices come down even more with everyone open one to watch packs but I'm not really too bothered, I'm just in to have fun this year, I think, now that I actually kind of know what I'm doing, which is I think I want to get Lucas and Richarlison. Even though it's maybe not the best value for coins, it's purple and it's fun, and I kind of quite like it, so we might end up doing that, but let me know what you think down in the comment section for now. I'm going to leave this video there, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Drop a like if you have, remember to turn on the bell for the notifications so you never miss an episode, where I'm aiming to get them up at 6pm on weekdays and 8pm on the weekends, English time, so it's a little bit of an idea for you guys, but put the notification on, you'll never miss one. I'll see you guys tomorrow.